Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we have to talk about what is the next move of Bitcoin and also what is going on in the altcoin space. So we're gonna have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance. So stay tuned here till the end. And before we start, my friends, a little reminder that currently we still have a lot of Black Friday events going on here in the crypto space. We first have this 40% off on Ledger wallets. So definitely go and order some of them because you have to store your cryptos in hardware wallets. That is very, very important. And currently we have a 40% off. So definitely go here to the official website and order some. And of course, we still have this special promotion going on over on Bybit and also Femex where you can put a deposit up to 1.5 Bitcoin and get up to 600 hundred dollars in bonus we have exactly the same promotion going on over on Bybit and also Femex and if you still don't have a Bybit or Femex account where you can trade Bitcoin Ethereum and other cryptos up to 100x leverage then use my referral links down below here to get an additional $90 on Bybit and $80 on Femex if you fulfill all the requirements so definitely go and try this out because this is gonna be very important for the future especially now that we are seeing the altcoin season starting because if you're going long on altcoins you can do really nice gains in the upcoming big altcoin season and of course if you also want to buy some altcoins on binance is the number one exchange to buy altcoins so definitely also open up an account over on binance you find my referral link also down below here in the video description so definitely try it out and also we still have this special co-vesting feature over on prime xpt if you want to copy trade other traders where you can easily just load up some money and follow one of these top traders to make even more gains without even need to trade at your own then try out prime xpt with this co-vesting feature you find also my referral down below here in the video description and the last sale that we have is a 50 percent discount on my own indicator so if you're interested in getting my own indicator then contact me over on discord you find the link down below here also in the video description so now my friends let's start here in the four hour time frame in the bitcoin price because as you can see bitcoin is again trying to push higher here so if we were able to break this $19,000, the next target would be here to reach the main resistance of around $19,800, which potentially also will lead into a new all-time high. So what we're seeing right now is really the last step before a new all-time high and here at least in the four hour time frame it looks like that we still have some room left to the upside and everything is pointing out that we will see continuation to the upside here but of course we also have to keep in mind that if we're gonna drop here towards the main support of $17,400 and we will go below this price level is that we could see a major correction at least towards here this $15,000 area potentially even lower but this is where I'm expecting some huge support if we're gonna drop below this price level but currently at least here in the four hour everything is still looking pretty good also here if you look at the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are trying to push higher and break out to the upside from the Bollinger Bands the good thing is that we still have the stochastic now shifted to the upside only KSD and MACD are still cooling off here so here we are waiting for a bullish cross in order to see here continuation to the upside and that of course would lead into this $19,800 potentially even into a breakout here to the upside because something will happen once we are reaching this 20k we're gonna see a massive correction afterwards or continuation towards $30,000 that is still in the cards my friends and that's why I think we are right about to see a massive move here in the Bitcoin price and now we can have a look also into the DXY and have a look what is going on over here because as you can see after this pump that we had we're still getting rejected here from the 100 and 200 moving average in the four hour and we most likely gonna see here continuation to the downside as long as we are not able to go again above the 200 moving average so the DXY is looking very weak my friends and now let's go back to the Bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame. 
because here you can see that we are still maintaining the support here at the nine day moving average and I told you as long as we're not closing one single daily candle below this moving average right here at $18,000 we are still shifted to the upside and we should see big continuations to the upside the next target would be here 19,800 potentially even to break 20k unless of course we are dropping below the nine day moving average and also even worse below $17,400 because we are still very overbought also here in the daily time frame and you can see that all the moving averages are far away from us so at some point we will see a correction and a retest of one of these important moving averages especially here the 20 daily right at 16,760 but if we're gonna lose here this uptrend channel that we are in currently I think we could be seeing even a major correction not only down to the 20 daily but potentially even a complete retracement back down towards the 200 daily moving average at around $12,000 and now we can switch over into the Bollinger Bands and see that here we are still trading right at the top and maintaining also the nine day moving average. If we're gonna see a major fall down here, then watch out for the 20 daily moving average at $16,800. If we're gonna fall from this moving average, then watch out for the bottom here at $14,000. And I think if we're gonna go lower than $14,000, we should have enough support at 12,000. And therefore we go over now into the weekly time frame because here you can can see that the 20 weekly moving average is right here $12,460 so this is my price target really for the worst case scenario if we're gonna see a major correction to the downside because here we should have enough strong bull power and buy pressure I don't think that we will go lower than that unless something crazy is going on that we could potentially fall even down here towards the previous main resistance which now is new support and that would line up at the $8,600 I don't think that we will see this price level again but based here on the weekly chart of course is still possible if something big is going to happen that could lead into a massive crash but if we're just gonna have a healthy correction then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average at around $12,500 this is also where I'm going to buy all in again and also you can see in my own indicator and also in the RSI that we are still very overbought and overextended of course Bitcoin can go on and on for a very long time but at some point we will see see a correction incoming and there you have to be ready to buy all Bitcoin and altcoins that you want because also the altcoins will see a nice bull run in the next couple of months and years we have seen now recently a lot of nice pumps in the altcoin space and also outperforming Bitcoin so if you're stacking up your altcoin portfolio make sure that you're ready to buy in once we're gonna see Bitcoin having a correction and now let's have a look into the Bitcoin dominance chart so we are now in the daily time frame and here you can see that yesterday we had an initial bounce here at the 200 daily moving average so at around 62 percent and right now we are seeing a healthy pullback to the upside and I think even though here we could maybe reach here this 65% again we might stay in this area here between the 20 and 200 daily moving average before we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside or to the downside so even though I'm seeing here a bounce to the upside from the 200 daily moving average I think we could see still some continuation to the downside in the Bitcoin dominance towards 59% and therefore continuation also in the altcoin season at least for the next couple of days because at some point Bitcoin will have a big bounce again towards the main resistance here at $68 I think we're gonna stay in this wedge here for a couple of more days before we're gonna see a clear breakout here to the upside or to the downside and that's why we have to keep a very close eye on where the Bitcoin dominance is going to break out because in that case you definitely want to be in altcoins if we're gonna see a breakdown here and at the other hand you want to be out of altcoins if Bitcoin is breaking out here to the upside and gain in dominance so I'm gonna keep a very close eye eye on what is going on here in the next couple of days it's going to be very very key so you will know if you should keep your positions in altcoins or go back into Bitcoin and now let's go into the ethereum Bitcoin pair because as you can see right now we had here this nice breakout to the upside 
and we are seeing an initial first correction here let's see if this is going to be sustainable or not i think ethereum still has a lot of room left to the upside and potentially will go into new levels because ethereum is still far away from its all-time high so that's why i think ethereum has still a lot of room left to the upside and we will see also ethereum pumping very nicely in the future but at the moment at least for now i think that the target is almost met here and this target is based on this double bottom formation that we had over here so let's see if uh, ethereum is able to go above 34,000 sets and potentially even reach the target here way above this price target that is possible but in order to go that high we have to take out this high here at 34,000 sets so currently we are right now in a little pullback we could even drop down here towards the 200 daily moving average at around 29,000 sets before we're gonna see here continuation to the upside so definitely keep that price level in your mind and also if you look for a good long opportunity then wait for this little pullback to play out and then start scaling in again longs because ethereum is also looking very bullish here for the long term and i think we are right about to go really parabolic here to the upside and you definitely don't want to miss out the next big pump in ethereum of course there will be pullbacks on the way to the upside but if you compare now ethereum to the bitcoin price you can see that we are right here at the beginning let's say ethereum is like bitcoin when it was at 10 K right now so probably what i'm gonna do is to open up a small long position over here on bybit and femex because on these two exchanges you can also trade ethereum even with your tether so if you have some tether lying around on the sideline and you're waiting to buy even more cryptos if we're gonna see a correction then make sure that you also are using your tether to trade bitcoin and ethereum so you can multiply your tether and buy even more once we're gonna see a possible correction so i think the altcoin season will really perform pretty nice here in the next couple of months and years so you definitely have to load up your bags and be ready with your altcoin bags also to take out some profits into bitcoin once they're going really parabolic so also if you have some tether on the sideline like me maybe think about to put it in some altcoins and then swing trade it back into bitcoin so at least you can multiply your bitcoin and the easiest way to do that is over on binance so if you still need a binance account use my referral link down below here and make use of these nice swing trades that you can do over there so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now keep a very close eye on what is going on today here in the bitcoin price and what will happen once we're gonna reach and test here this nineteen thousand eight hundred dollars level as long as we are staying between this channel between these two price levels currently of nineteen thousand eight hundred dollar and the bottom here of seventeen thousand four hundred dollar i'm expecting to go just sideways here but trending to the upside and we're gonna have to wait if here we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside or here to the downside and have a major correction before we gearing up to break 20k but i'm pretty confident that we will see most likely here a breakout to the upside incoming pretty soon and that bitcoin could reach our next fibonacci extension of around thirty thousand dollar once 20k is broken so if you like the content my friends don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye